Hey guys, it's Wesley with 22 Zines. I just found out about this really awesome uh, future zine that is looking for submissions, and it's called Rallying Cry, an Aries devotional. And so I, I totally had to submit something to it, and I thought that as I'm talking I could just show you the process of my uh, submission. I'm doing like a drawing and some collage, and um, yeah, so I guess I just wanted to like tell you about this to, for one, encourage you to submit, and then just talk a little bit about Aries and Aries season, because let me tell you, I have been totally feeling it. <laughs> like, this last week has been very, very active. I have been meeting a lot of new people and just super motivated to push and run and, like, I guess it's because it's finally spring, it's finally officially Aries season, and um, in my area, the, uh, you know, weather lines up very closely with sort of the traditional associations of the of the seasons, I guess, like the, the astrological and the pagan associations with seasons, probably because I'm in New England, which is, like, where the associations really strongly formed, I'd say, in America, it's it's New England, and like um, some parts of Appalachia is where the associations of of the um, you know what each season feels like. That's sort of where the the primary associations that are like shared came from is like from far farmers' almanacs in this area, which is pretty interesting because this is the first time that I've lived somewhere where. Um, the seasons very, feel very classic in that way. You know, Colorado is very different. Like, it certainly experiences snow and all that sort of, and, and seasons, but it's just, it's very different. And then Berkeley Bay Area was same thing, very, very different. Um, yeah, so all of that to say that now that it's spring, I can really feel it. And, <laughs> like, here's the primary difference, is that out here... Um, I'm only just now starting to see crocuses. In Colorado, you'd see crocuses in, like, February, like, early February, um, because Colorado doesn't really have spring. It has summer and then winter, and then summer and then winter. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so it it's so funny that now I'm seeing the crocuses out here because they've decided, yep, it's really spring. Anyway, yeah, so, uh, basically, I saw this zine, I saw the call for submissions on a zine Discord that I'm a part of, and I was really inspired and, and just intrigued by this. Um, I, I am not a, um, devotee of any particular deities, but I just really like the symbolism and mythology and just sort of the cultural and historical meanings of deities uh, throughout history. Um, and given that I really like Helen, <clears throat> sorry, like Hellenistic astrology, then the uh, gods that are, you know, the, the gods that the different um, zodiac constellations are named after is... Um, they're, they're sort of especially interesting to me, I guess. And um, this was a really good opportunity um, that for me to actually learn a little bit more about Ares as a figure and Ares as myths, because um, funny enough, like, I, I didn't actually know that much about Ares. Um, I didn't know what his role was in Greek um, mythology very well. Um, and I, I sort of didn't realize until just now, um, Ares is sort of known as the god of war, or, or sort of one of the gods of war. There are a bunch of them. And um, Ares is the brother of Athena. And I think that both of them together are meant to represent different aspects of war, where Athena is sort of the more... Um, general, as in, you know, leadership, military strategy, that sort of general, um, deity of war, and, um, seems to be a lot more elevated, obviously. She is, like, associated with Athens, which is known as, like, this intellectual, philosophical hub, and, you know, I, I totally, I, I like Athena. <laughs> um, 
but what was interesting then is that Ares um, is kind of like also aspects of war, but it's sort of the the difficult aspects of war, the the aggressive aspects of war, the the you know bloodlust and actual fighting. And um, in thinking about that, it was just kind of strange because Athena seems to have been a lot more um, valued and appreciated and just like representative of this is you know the noble aspects of war and then somehow Ares becomes the savage aspects when really war is savage war is violent and and bloody and um brutal and all of these things that get associated with Ares and so you really can't have one without the other you can't you can't just like keep the idea of war on this pedestal on this sort of like distant cool um you know observant thing of like the gods playing from on high you know you really this is arguably more real like what Ares represents is more real than any of that other stuff um and so I guess it just sort of that whole idea of Ares being the black sheep and, and sort of being necessary and representing something that must exist and sort of taking on this, um, this role almost, you know, I don't know. It's just, it's very interesting. <laughs> it's very interesting. And, um, I can totally relate to the idea of being the black sheep of, of just being, you know, I'll just, I'll just tell you like the, the text that I have here, I, the beginning says Aries and I, we are black sheep. And the final line is Aries and I, we both know how it feels to never be good enough. And I think that that really captures Aries as sort of a mythological figure for me. Um, yeah, so <laughs> this is my submission to the zine, and I I want to talk a little bit more about the zine and really encourage you to submit something, um, or at the very least keep an eye out for pre-orders, because this is just a really awesome project that is, you know, it, it's called Rallying Cry and Aries Devotional, and the, the purpose of it and the, sort of the goal is really to um, share art and stories and love and appreciation for Aries, who um, is kind of either undervalued or dismissed as brutish in, uh, brutish, not brutish, <laughs> um, in, in a lot of Greek mythology. And so I really, all right, I'll, I'll just get to all the details. Um, basically, what you can submit is um, really anything that can be printed in a book and relates to Aries in a respectful, thoughtful, historical, and or devotional way. I'm just reading the description here. Um, the organizer behind all this, Aiden, he is looking for prayers, hymns, and poems, stories, either new myths, myth retellings, or other fiction serving some devotional or worship purpose, essays including per uh, personal and biographical essays, but also informational and historical ones, rituals and rites written out so others can follow them, any sort of drawn or painted artwork and photography, um, pretty much like anything, um, as long as it's appreciate, you know, about Aries in sort of a, not an appreciative way. And, um, as long as it's original work by you. And the really amazing thing about this is that, um, the work, it, Aiden is paying for, um, the contributors, paying in advance, which when you're working on zine margins, that is really, really difficult to do. And it means that Aiden is fronting a whole lot of money to make sure that the contributors get paid for this and also um, to make sure that this work gets out there. And I just think that is so kind and, and wonderful. And, and just, I really, I really, really want this zine to succeed because I just love the um, approach and the time and care and devotion that Aiden has put into this project. So 
Um, the For longer written works, uh, Aiden is offering three cents a word. And for uh, poems or shorter works, it's a flat $20 or three cents a word, whichever is more. Artwork is $50 per piece. Um, and a quick note about art is that it needs to be printable in black and white because the interiors of the zine are going to be in black and white. Um, and photography is also $50. Costumes and other arts and whatever can be submitted as long as you can get a good photo of it. And in addition to all that, all contributors get a copy of the zine, which is just like, this is, it is, it is so great because this is really hard to do. And I just, I think that this is a great opportunity. And so if you, if you appreciate Aries, if you are curious about Aries, if you are, you know, perhaps already a follower or worshiper or, or devotee of Aries in some sense, um, I really, would love to hear your uh, hear your thoughts about about Aries as a myth and a figure and a deity, and um, I think that this is absolutely the right zine for you. Even if you've never submitted to a zine before, I think this is a like a, a really good moment to do so, <laughs> um, especially because you don't have to make like a whole big zine all by yourself. Um, yeah, so. Um, submissions for this close on May 1st. That's a soft date that's sort of subject to change depending on how much content Aiden has. Um, so definitely if you are interested, make sure that you email him about it. Um, and then it's going to be, the the zine is going to be a, a, probably a single print run, mostly determined by pre-orders. So even if you aren't interested in submitting, uh, definitely try to keep an eye out for when pre-orders open up. It sounds like pre-orders are going to be July-ish. Um, yeah, and I guess that's about it. I will include, of course, um, the link to the Twitter thread, which is where um, Aiden has posted all the information. Just a quick warning, Aiden's Twitter page is 18 and up. It's not safe for work, but this particular thread is safe for work. Um, and I will also include a link to the Instagram post that I made about it. Uh, again, it just basically copies all the same information, but it's on Instagram in case you prefer that. Um, definitely, uh, I'll just tell you uh, to go ahead and email Aiden with any submissions or any questions, or if you're intending to submit or just you know, anything that you want about Aries, I'm sure that he'd love to hear from you. And the email for that is, uh, let, oh, hang on. Let me make sure that I'm giving you the right email because it would be a pain to re-record it. Spark.costumes at gmail.com. And of course, that'll be in the description as well. So I hope that you enjoy. I hope that you submit and I hope that you have a wonderful Aries season that's full of motivation and strength and rebellion and dignity and just everything that Aries represents. Hope you have a lovely season and I'll talk to you later. Bye.